Thank you, Sam. We're all familiar with the term blaming the messenger. What we've seen in the last nine months is a magnification and exacerbation of such a dynamic, uh, denouncing the messenger, vilifying the messenger, taking away the passport of the messenger, and indeed uh, trying to uh, prosecute and imprison the messenger who, since last June, has provided the American people with the capacity uh, to learn about what's being done in our names with our own tax dollars. In fact, to participate in the informed consent of the governed. Uh, we're also familiar in recent years with the saying, if you see something, say something. Edward Snowden saw something, and he said something. He saw the undermining of the free press aspects of the First Amendment. He saw the undermining of the Fourth Amendment. He saw the full-scale assault on due process and other key aspects of the Fifth Amendment. Edward Snowden saw something, and he said something. And in the last nine months, many millions of Americans have seen what's being done under the cover of the NSA and other intelligence agencies. And 100,000 or so signers are on the petitions that you see over there. And as one of the sheets that have been passed out here uh, gives in some detail, uh, tomorrow Ray McGovern and Colleen Rowley and myself will be presenting that pair of petitions first at the State Department and then at the Justice Department. And we certainly invite you at 11 a.m. Uh, in front of the Justice Department for an update briefing on what has or hasn't transpired. Uh, we sent letters uh, uh, to uh, Secretary of State Kerry and Attorney General Holder. Uh, I've been in phone conversation in the last day with the office of the Deputy Attorney General, James Cole. It appears that um, Eric Holder is on vacation this week, but evidently James Cole as second in command is not. We still would hope to meet with him tomorrow, but in any event at 11 a.m. We can, we can let you know. Um, we're going to be hearing uh, from uh, Ray McGovern and from Colleen Rowley here in the next minutes. And uh, certainly in the uh, light of the news that has broken in the last few hours, it's clear more than ever that leadership on issues of protecting the First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendments, protecting civil liberties of the United States against the extreme encroachments and attacks by the NSA, that the leadership has come from Edward Snowden. And that our president, who has repeatedly gone on national television and in other venues, claimed in recent months that the NSA and indeed the entire US government is not, as President Obama said, spying on the American people. That the credibility of the White House is through the floor. And the credibility of Edward Snowden continues to ascend. So in that light, for the Justice Department to continue its stance of overt hostility towards Edward Snowden, for the State Department under the Obama administration to continue to deny access to the passport of this US citizen, Edward Snowden, and for our president to remain silent while top officials of the US government speak on background and in other ways, saying in some cases that they would like to see summary execution, killing of Edward Snowden, we are still awaiting a renunciation of those statements from President Obama. So with that, I'd like to introduce uh, our speaker Ray McGovern, and for the benefit of those who are watching on video, I will uh, mention that Ray McGovern is a former CIA analyst whose responsibilities included preparing